both companies reporting earnings just minutes ago. Joining us now is Argus Research Director of Financial Institutions, Steve Bigger. Uh, Steve, uh, let's start with, with PayPal. Uh, in terms of the reaction, what are we seeing in these numbers, which, you know, on a, on a surface level looked okay, but the market not so, uh, not so much liking it? Yeah, hi, Mike. I, I think, look, the, the revenues did come in about as expected. Uh, and, you know, and so the, the, but the payment volumes were light. Gross payment volumes did come in a little bit lighter here. And I think, you know, the guidance, if you look at uh, fourth quarter, uh, fourth quarter and, and full year uh, here, relative to the earnings beat, uh, was also, you know, a little bit disappointing. I, I think there, virtually all of the of the uh, upside in that uh, wasn't uh, was accounted for in, in the earnings beat. So, you know, that that's one thing. Um, but you know, on the, on the positive side here, it does look like um, the uh, within the earnings beat and and revenues in line uh, was that uh, they must have pulled some expense levers. Uh, in, in a pretty significant way to get that uh, outperformance in the in the earnings speed. So, uh, so I think that is a positive here uh, going forward. There has been some strategic concern, I guess, among investors about you know the the mix of revenue, some of the lower margin offerings uh, by PayPal. Is it is it a matter of them you know not necessarily having as as strong a franchise in the payments uh, ecosystem as was previously believed, or are we just talking about you know valuation compression that's happened to a lot of growth stocks? Well, I, I think there's an element of that, perhaps. Uh, you know, PayPal uh, did not do themselves uh, too many favors in the first couple of quarters this year, where they uh, they continually guided lower, um, and uh, so that you know led to some concerns. Uh, but they have looked at, at focusing on more profitable customers. Uh, I did notice that the take rate uh, this quarter did uh, did bounce up, uh, which is also encouraging. So I think it is that that element of focusing on the more profitable uh, customer that that you know again is a positive. What's the main takeaway from Block? Uh, this is a stock down almost 80 percent from the highs going in, getting some uh, relief uh, in this bounce after the results. Indeed, yeah, I think the, uh, of course, in the case of Block, the the out the uh, versus the consensus, it was a much uh, broader beat. Um, again, gross payment volumes came in a bit lighter. Revenues about in line with expectations. So I think you've got again another expense lever story here, uh, and. Um, you know, I think the, the the big difference between these two companies with uh, with, with Block is the, the who focuses on the small and even micro merchant, uh, and mm -hmm. uh, you know held up a little bit better uh, probably in this, and their take rate is is quite a bit higher as well. So you know, more profitable customer for every gross dollar uh, uh, that comes in. Um, PayPal obviously yeah. much much larger merchants, uh, lower take yeah. rate there. Uh, it's a, it's a little bit of a, uh, more of a headwind than than Block faced in this quarter.